Greetings from the Cyrus Dallin Art Museum. My name is Nancy Blanton and I am the group tour coordinator for the museum and I am coming to you on this beautiful summer evening from Plymouth Harbor. Uh, I'm atop Coles Hill and I am visiting one of Dallin's masterpieces, Massasoit Usamikwe. I haven't been here in quite a while and my colleagues have told me that the sculpture of Massasoit Usamikwe bears a resemblance to Michelangelo's David. Now that I'm here and I see his imposing nine foot seven stature, his confident stance, and his muscular physique, I can certainly see the resemblance. Massasoit Usamequin was the leader of the Ponkanoket when the pilgrims arrived in Plymouth in 1620. In 1911, Dallin was commissioned to produce a monument of the famed leader to commemorate the 300th anniversary of the landing of the pilgrims. In his first model, Dallin closely followed the first-person accounts of Massasoit Usamequin's appearance, written by William Bradford and Edward Winslow. By 1920, Dallin had revised the figure to resemble the people of the plains that he knew so well. Dallin also consulted with anthropologist Charles Willoughby at the Peabody Museum at Harvard on ethnological details. The feather is probably an intentional reference to Massasoit Usamequin's name, which means yellow feather. By adopting the Anglo-European tradition of the heroic mood, Dallin centered Massasoit Usamequin rather than the pilgrims as the hero of the story of colonization. As you'll recall from history lessons, Massasoit Usamequin forged critical political and personal ties with colonial leaders. And according to colonial sources, Massasoit Usamequin prevented the failure of Plymouth Colony and the starvation that the pilgrims faced during the earliest years of its establishment. The Mayflower Society donated the site and agreed to care for the monument in perpetuity.